this and that Northwest. I reject quintessence in every way that I can. I create my own narratives. I see darkness differently than most people do. So currently, elegance is one of the things that I strive for. I look at darkness for its, its beauty because darkness, what it really is, it's, it's density. If something is dark, it's rich, rich with content. It's complex, mystery. And in my art, those, those are things that all speak to me. One is their art, they are, their art is part of them. And these, these are things that are part of me, that the darkness, the, the romance, obsession with symmetry and grandeur, it's, it's all part of who I am. And it's, a, it's all a manifestation of me. A lucid dreamer is someone who basically can control their dreams. You realize it's a dream and like, okay, well, I'm gonna have this happen. When I lucid dream, I go to a reality that I had already created in my waking. When I paint, I am creating a, a dreamscape. So it's basically the same thing as lucid dreaming, but in a different medium. Dreaming, I, I hadn't thought of this until now, but dreaming is one of my artistic mediums because I create these realms, just like painting. So that's how it would correlate. It's just another medium through which I realize these, these narratives. I have, you know, it's a, it became a second habit creating these realms. And at this point, I, I have so much in this reality. I could never write it all down. So I encrypt the narratives into paintings, dances, masks. As you can see, these are two recycled shipping containers. As soon as I saw them, I knew that I would line them with chains and I would turn it into a post-apocalyptic art studio and gallery. So I paint in this container and once a month when I have my show, I get rid of all of the easels, the tables, I sweep, I turn on the spotlights and it's a gallery space. This is the patron saint of rebirth. As you can see, there is a, a planet in the cycle of destruction and through the white fire in the hands of the patron saint, it is reborn commonly reoccurring motif in a lot of the narratives that are manifested into these relics is the cycle of demise and recreation. You know, you create one thing, something else is destroyed in its place, and energy is never created or destroyed, it's transferred. It's like a perpetual cycle. This is Spellbound. Spellbound is a piece that I've painted about martyrdom. You see the human character in this has accepted the price of his martyrdom. That's why you see him surrounded by things that should be tormenting him, but he has a look of tranquility. Because of his acceptance, the thorns which draw his blood soothe him, the flames embrace him, and the serpent serenades him. This piece was actually finished until I decided to, to create this character. She's going to be holding a, a gold staff. I found some metallic paint. It's basically like a paste version of gold leaf. might be able to see she's wearing a, a niqab. It's uh, what Muslim women wear when they're covered head to toe in black. I don't normally get political with my work, but I saw a woman 
in the Nikwab a couple of weeks ago. She was a tall, thin woman, and it was really nice, expensive-looking fabric. I think it was, it was kind of thin, and it looked very elegant. She carried herself in a very elegant way. And me being the story weaver that I am, came up with this totally tangential thought process based on that image, and I created this patron saint character. It's not specifically a woman in Nikwa, but it's definitely inspired by that. This is ghost stars descending. For those of you who don't know what a ghost star is, when you look into the night sky and you see a star, the star that you're seeing is actually thousands or even millions of light years away. So by the time that light reaches your eye, the star is long gone. And I heard about that and I thought it was really beautiful. So I imagined a narrative in which this creature carries the spirits of these stars to the spirit world after their time has passed. This is Armageddon, who exists in the sacrifice of, of one thing or entity for the creation of another. These are actually thousands of ravens carrying the spirits of what's left of humanity to the spirit world, which is in the form of this winged creature. And these are the spirits that have conjured Armageddon. These are the cosmos in metamorphosis in the presence of Armageddon. 